Is this real life right now? Where's that giant fish this girl claims to have shot? How's it going, YouTube? I'm Landon. Let's talk about the news. I have a ton of news stories for you guys. First up, the small clip I just showed you was a video titled Amazing Girl Uses PVC Pipe Compound Boat Fishing to Shoot a Fish. It's a very long title and it received over 22 million views in a short amount of time. I think it was like in a day or two, which is incredible. It is on YouTube's homepage right now and that's because of this thumbnail. The same thumbnail I used in my video as well. Everyone is complaining that there's no giant fish in the video. I mean, where is that thing? Almost 30,000 people thumbs this video down at the time of this recording. This video is uploaded to the YouTube channel by All Entertainment, and it seems to be this girl shooting things down and doing like crazy life hacks. Every video seems to be getting hundreds of thousands of views, but it, it doesn't seem to be getting a lot of subscribers. The last video this person uploaded, it had a very similar thumbnail to this one. Take a look. This is the thumbnail I'm talking about. That video received over 2.8 million views, so they thought, hey, why not use a thumbnail very similar to create another mega video. Well, I have to say, you know what? Good job on the photoshopping because I don't know how you did that. And you were able to trick millions of people. I guess, good job. Next up, YouTuber Philip DeFranco has been getting a ton of threats lately. Some of these threats have been coming from fans of Daddy of Five channel. That was the YouTube channel Philip DeFranco brought to light because of all the child abuse seen on that channel. It was a channel we talked about not too long ago on this channel. But quickly to recap, it was a father and a stepmother who has been pulling all these horrible pranks on their kids just for views. Some of the pranks was them yelling at the kids until they just broke down crying. You see emotional abuse. Some videos you can see siblings hitting each other and the parents are like promoting it. Like the more hurt they get or the more they cry, the more views they get, which is good. And the parents are filming the whole thing. Well, Child Protective Service got involved with this case and the children were taken away for child abuse. I think it was a great job Philip Franklin did in bringing the story to the media, but it came with a backlash by fans of Daddy of Five. Watch. I think the Franco should be taken down once and for all by us Daddy of Five fans we're gonna take the Franco down the Franco I got news for you buddy I hate you daddy of five I mean I don't know if you're looking but you're a cool man. Well, that's a really scary. Philip DeFranco in his video talked about this video I just showed you, and he said this is some of the reasons why when he attends YouTube events, he always comes with armed security. It's really sad that YouTubers always have to be watching out for their safety. We all know what happened to Christina Grimmie. She was shot to death by someone during a fan meetup. It happened right in front of her brother. It was tragic. I really hope nothing bad happens to any other YouTubers. VidCon is coming up at the end of this week, and I'm gonna be there. Hopefully everything runs smooth. I know there's always something crazy happening there, but there will be heightened security for sure. A lot of big YouTubers are gonna be hiding out behind the scenes because of what's been going on with the shootings and the threats by fans. For me, this will be my sixth or seventh VidCon. I remember going to VidCon and seeing all my like big favorite YouTubers just walking around the grounds in the public eye. You go up to them, talk to them, take pictures with them, meet them. But now you see less and less of these big stars walking around in the public eye. They have to be behind the scenes, like hidden. And that's where I'm probably gonna be most of the time. But if you guys are coming to VidCon, I'll try to walk around as much as I can to meet as many of you guys as possible. All right, well, here's a scary moment. A honeymooning couple saved the United Airlines plane from disaster after they looked out their window and they saw this. What you guys just saw was fuel like just gushing out of this plane's wing. This could have been deadly if the plane took off. Gallons of fuel just flooded into the airport hangar. This was a flight going from JFK to Venice, but the flight was obviously canceled. The newlywed couple had to delay their honeymoon for a bit. This is for sure not a way to start a honeymoon. And I know for me, I'm just a few weeks away from getting married and we're also going to Italy. So hopefully this doesn't happen when we fly to Italy, but I'm sure they're looking into this. They're gonna investigate it. And I'm sure we're not gonna hear about something like this again. Also in the news was this image. This was a secret underground bunker the US government built in case there was a nuclear attack. This was built during the Cold War era to protect government officials. They feared they might be attacked by an atomic bomb. Well, the image you guys are looking at right now, it was built under the White House. During the 9-11 attack, President George W. Bush, Vice President Dick Cheney, and Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice were ushered into the bunker. It's so crazy to think that they actually built this in fear of a huge attack. And I bet you there's 
there's many more like this that have been secretly built because there's like so many threats from North Korea and what if someone else attacks? What if ISIS attacks them? I bet there's a place for President Donald Trump right now if there's an attack to go hide in. This underground bunker was called Mount Weather which is pretty cool because I just started watching the show The 100 which is a TV show right now on Netflix and I'm at the part where people are actually hiding out underground in a place called Mount Weather which was obviously inspired by the real Mount Weather. You guys should actually watch the show The 100. It's really good. It's an American post-apocalyptic science fiction television series and it's still ongoing so there's new episodes coming out. Let me show you guys a quick trailer of that in case you guys are interested. 97 years ago, a nuclear apocalypse killed everything on Earth, leaving the planet simmering in radiation. But fortunately, not everyone was on the ground. At the time, 12 space stations were in orbit and came together to form the Ark. For three generations, humans have survived up here. We've only dreamed of setting foot on the ground. If you guys want the full trailer or to read more about the stories I've talked about in today's video, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put many links down there for you guys. Another movie trailer that just came out was Daddy's Home, and it's hilarious. This is Sarah's husband. Why is he here? Oh, because my dad's coming too. He hasn't seen his dad in a long time. It's only been two weeks, but it feels like forever! It does, doesn't it? The movie looks really funny, and I actually can't wait to see it. Another movie I can't wait to see is Planet of the Apes! That movie comes out soon. I'm gonna be in Italy for it. I'm not gonna watch it in Italiano. I'm not gonna watch it in Italian. Uh, so I'm gonna, I have to wait to come back here, and then I can watch Planet of the Apes. But I'm actually really excited for those movies. Well, there you guys have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.